What's going on everybody, it's AG here. Today I'm going to be bringing my college football top 25 rankings. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get completely started here today though, do me a favor and hit that big old red subscribe button down below. That way when I post more content like this, you'll be the first one to know about it. All right, so before we get fully into my top 25, first we're gonna look at my honorable mention. This is five teams. We've got Maryland, which is kind of fourth place in the Big Ten, right behind the Big Three. Wake Forest, coming off a terrible loss. I'm kind of surprised they lost this bet. Louisville, which whooped Wake Forest this week. Boise State, they've got two losses. They're kind of lingering. And then Coastal Carolina, they've only got one loss so far. Now, on to the top 25. All right, so we had a ton of turnover this week in my top 25. Starting us off, we've got a cluster of ACC teams. At 25, Florida State. They've looked good the past few weeks. They've got three losses, though. Otherwise, they'd be higher. At 24, NC State. Their quarterback's out for the year. They may be out of the top 25 pretty soon. 23, Syracuse. They're coming off a big loss to Notre Dame. Their quarterback got hurt in this game. Otherwise, it might have went a little differently. 22, speaking of that team, Notre Dame. They've looked good since they made their quarterback change. Notre Dame's rolling. They've got Clemson this week. I'll be curious to see what happens in that one. 21, we've got Liberty. Their only loss is to Wake Forest by one point. Liberty can play. 20, Oregon State. They've got two losses, but both those losses are top 15 Pac-12 teams. Watch out for Oregon State. At number 19, I've got Tulane. They've got a top 10 win over Kansas State. Tulane should represent the group of five in the New Year's Six Bowl. At number 18, Oklahoma State. They look terrible today. I don't know what the heck happened to Oklahoma State today. They got actually manhandled by Kansas State. But they've got two losses, and they're both the top 10 teams, so I can't drop them too much. 17, Illinois. They've only got one loss. They should be in the Big Ten Championship against the winner of Michigan and Ohio State. 16, North Carolina. This offense can go. 15, USC. Speaking of offense, that's all USC has. They cannot play defense whatsoever. It's the Caleb Williams show out there. He should be a Heisman candidate. That's all they got, though. 14, Utah. They beat in USC. They were without Cameron Rising this week, though. We'll see how long he's out. 13, we've got Ole Miss. They struggled again this week against AM, but they can run the ball on anybody. All they got to do is run the ball. At number 12, we've got LSU. LSU is slowly creeping up the rankings. They've gotten better and better each week. They play Alabama this week and what should be a big one. At number 11, I've got Penn State. They actually look good today against Ohio State. They played with them. It was a rivalry game. Penn State, number 11. All right, cracking in the top 10. At number 10, I've got Kansas State. They're rising up the boards as well. They look good. I did not expect them to win this game today, let alone dominate it like it did. They absolutely destroyed Oklahoma State. It was 35-0 at halftime. With a backup quarterback, watch out for Kansas State. Number 9, I've got UCLA. They handled they handled Stanford today. UCLA, all they got to do is keep winning. They'll be in the Pac-12 championship. At number 8, I've got Oregon. Another week, another week that Oregon looks dominant, but they got that big loss to Georgia. Otherwise, they might be higher. Number seven, I've got TCU. TCU keeps winning. All they have to do is win out, and it's a guarantee that they'll be in the playoff. At number six, I've got Alabama. They play LSU this week in what is a huge game. If they can win this one, they should be in the championship. Number five, I've got Michigan. Handle Michigan State today. They win Ohio State are on a collision course. Four, I've got Clemson. Clemson's played the tough part of their schedule. They should have smooth sailing from here on out, but not so fast, my friend. They play Notre Dame this week. This game could be interesting. Number three, I've got Ohio State. They struggled at first with Penn State, but it's a rivalry game, so that's expected. By the end of the game, though, they ended up separating and winning the game easily. All right, we made it to my top two. At number two, I've got Georgia. At number one, I've got Tennessee. Both these teams are playing each other this week. The winner's going to be number one. The loser still could make the playoff. This is a huge game this week. Tennessee confirmed to me that they're the number one team in the nation this week. They handle Kentucky, which is a formidable foe. Tennessee, Georgia, this game, can't wait to see it. Let me know any teams that you would add down in the comment section below. And also, let me know any teams that you would drop out of my top 25 down in the comments as well. As always, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. That way when I post more content like this, you'll be the first one to know about it. So until next time, AG. Out.